Okay, so real quickly, oh good, we have time. Um, I just wanted to talk about my experience um, with Homoglow. I think it's been about a little over a year. Um, it's been about slight over a year, like August 28th, 2023, I started going to David's Harp in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> that's been great they're a little liberal but nothing nothing too shabby um i have been going to david's harp that long 2023 yeah the date that i already mentioned um and um i think i've been writing with them that long or or a little longer just as, since I got into this house. But um I will I will say August twenty eighth, twenty twenty three is when I started really writing Brady Care and I just wanted to talk about them and give ins and outs about them because there's not a lot of knowledge about right to care and if you're on OHP Oregon Health Plan um Girl, I don't want to get copyright. <laughs> um, if you're on Oregon Health Plan, it's really important to know what your rights are. And Right to Care is a perfect way to actually get groceries once a week. Um, the... I, th I think about once a week. Sometimes they'll allow you to go a little more than once a week to the grocery store. But, um, yeah, Ride to Care will take you to the grocery store at least once a week. Um, they're taking me this Friday in the sort of late morning, noon, late morning to noon area to... A grocery store near me um so that's good and um i will say sometimes the cars look busted especially inside um they do look busted and i think that they need to figure out a way to amp up amp up the care for the cars that they have and they need to probably control some of the people that are in there that are going into these ride to cares. But let's see, is that all the information? Um, it works with insurance, OHP insurance, working health plan insurance. Um, like I said, they look busted, but for the most part, and sometimes they come sporadically, like. I, I for the most part I know that the that ride to care will come and pick um pick you up like they picked me up picked me up for David's harp this morning um well what else did they do um they picked me up this morning. Um, and they usually pick me up in the 8 o'clock hour. But sometimes, honestly, you guys, I don't know when in the 8 o'clock hour they're ever going to pick me up. Because it's so sporadic. And then I have to tap into the Holy Spirit and be like, hey, Holy Spirit, when are they going to get here? And sometimes that's too late or I do ask them early and then it's hard to believe so that's a whole nother thing um yeah so basically um and I feel bad saying um and stuff like that but I'm trying to think of lots of things that Ride to care helps. They they take you to the grocery store at least once a week. 
I think they're taking my friend Ashley a little more than once a week just because she demands it. But I don't need them. I don't need them but once a week. Um, um, let's see. When, what else is ready care? They'll, they'll take you to, um, appointments is what, that's basically what they're about is they'll take you to medical appointments, but, um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, they're, they'll take you to medical appointments and that's what David's Harp is, is learning life skills and being able to take those life skills and apply them to life and take life skills and apply them to life. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, they're taking me to a therapist appointment later today. Today is Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. Um, they're taking me tomorrow at 10 a.m. to my chiropractor. So they're very helpful in, in taking you. I did not know about this. And I wish that there was someone out there like me that was talking about ride to care and talking about this stuff. Because if I would have known about it, we wouldn't have struggled. Like, y'all know me and my niece would have to walk to um me and my me and my niece and sometimes her nephew back in the day we would have to walk like I don't know maybe a mile to I don't know how far we had to walk but I know it took within like 30 minutes to get there and I always felt bad because my niece's legs which I'm sure now she's like tall and skinny and it works for her now. But um <laughs> but her poor legs would get so sore sometimes and I was like, it's just growing pains and you just have to work out the the kinks and stretch. So yeah. Um I was not I'm not a bad auntie and I was never a bad auntie, but at the same time I think that I should have been told about right to care and should have been put in like I, I was like where was this house that I'm in now it's an adult foster home where was this when I came out of came out of um where was this when I came out of um high school like, I would have loved to get in a house like this and stuff and have, be able to have things clean and not be dirty and take ride to cares all which ways and go to my appointments, go to the grocery store. Oh, and another, and a bone to pick that I have with ride to care, even more than their cars sometimes being messy, um, is, um, they don't take you to the bank. And I'm not going to talk too much about this, but all I'm going to say is I need to take you to the bank because I shouldn't have to wait till Sunday when my foster parents or my caregivers can take me to the bank. And then hopefully my bank, um, what is it called? Not the teller. Um, my bank... ATM won't spit out my money um yeah Whew. that felt really like I needed to say it because ride to care and here in Oregon I don't know if if ride to care is for every state but I know um you should definitely look into it if you're in another in another state because it's super helpful and um I'm actually have an appointment at two and it's one twenty eight um to to sit down and do a uh do paperwork and, and work with 
but someone who handles SSI information. So, like, yeah, I didn't know about SSI. If I'd known about that, I, I would have benefited from it a long time ago. Like, I'm 20, no, I'm 30 now. So, 10 years ago was when I was 18. So, why was I not on on an EBT card, on SSI, and using Ride to Care? You know, I, I don't understand it. So, I'm going to get better about um, clearly understanding this stuff and really being able to use um, these resources. I, I think I would have been able to be eligible for an EBG card at 18 years old. So, when I was in, a senior in high school. Um, um, and probably SSI too, but I don't think for right to care yet because i was because obama put this law together to where you can um be on your parents insurance until you're 26 and i'm like actually that's a bad idea and we do definitely need trump to fix that and um and um yeah we do definitely need Trump to fix that and make it so when you're 18, you can get off your parents' insurance and and um, get on either the insurance that I am on, which is state insurance, um, or, yeah, I don't know how um, much, but yeah. I'm going to reiterate myself and say the bone to pick that I have with Ride to Care is they need to take you to the bank because how can you buy groceries if you don't have money in the bank? It just says those two don't go together, you know? Um, nobody really watches my channel. Well, I won't say it, but yeah, I've definitely had to like hope and pray that my money goes in the way I wanted to um on Sundays or else it just spits it out and it I'm just I just ha sit there and I'm like I have no bank account like I need to work <laughs> so there's that bit of inform information I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything um probably not right to care um I will say this, if you get tired of, like, either mean, um, mean drivers, mean right to care drivers, um, um, what am I trying to say? If you get tired of mean right to care drivers, find one right to care driver that is your favorite and talk to somebody about this is my favorite driver and um believe me once I started mentioning that Moolah was my favorite ride to hear driver uh everything changed like I now I get his transit which is Helena transit um Yeah, sorry for the pause, you guys. There's just a lot going on today, and I'm having a hard time focusing. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, now Helena Transa picks me up, and I will say the main driver that's been picking me up from Helena Transit, which is Moolah's. Um, company, ride to care company, um, his, the car of that guy is very busted, but, um, I always convince myself, I'm like, the Holy Spirit also convinces me that it's worth it to go ahead and keep, um, it's, it's worth it to keep going with this ride to care driver 
and being that his car is like really busted and many not just helena and i'm not trying to shade helena i'm just being honest like a lot of their cars are busted oh but i've talked to one of the drivers about it from helena and he said well you're gonna buy me one <laughs> and he's like well we need money to buy new cars and there's just not always money so that's my experience with ride to care i hope this helps and blesses someone because i come from a small town and in small towns nobody was talking about this stuff um and i i got an ebt card in 2018 after i got caught i'll be honest i got caught stealing something i went to court for it and it's all done and over with and thank god it's finished but um um yeah i i didn't know about a system that would help me out so yeah um anything else ride to care is help and they will take you to your appointments i almost wonder if you're 18 and they might be willing to take you but you probably have to be 26 still um which i think is lame and you you should be able to get off your off of your parents insurance at 18 years old so <laughs> um there's that bit of bit of information um if you have ever had an experience with ride to care and it's positive and hopefully not too negative um <laughs> um please put it in the comments below because i'd love to hear your experiences with ride to care and um please like and share and comment on this video if i didn't mention anything that you thinking of that you're thinking of um go ahead and um put it down below because i'd be interested to know so that's my experience with ride to care i hope this blesses someone because i never knew about it not even when i was 26 which is when you get off of your parents insurance um yeah i doing really good in my life um i'll make a separate video of, of a life update but i you know i'm doing really good i almost don't feel like i need to do a life update but um that's my experience with ride to care yeah they're very helpful ever since i mentioned them about a month ago that moolah is my favorite driver um I've been getting his transit picking me up um, a lot. So find a driver that's your favorite and hopefully their transit will start picking you up very often. Um, it just so happens that I like to move on and now he is picking me up. So any other questions you have about right to carry, you know, can feel free to ask them down below in the comment section um that's all i have to say i think and have time for um and god bless bye